so the first effective way to deliver an effective speech for your audience is to connect with your audience yes the audience is very important but actually many researches and studies uh, show that the speaking is more feared than death for adults that because so often speakers are focused on their own perceived inadequacies like for uh, lack of knowledge lack of uh, lack of speaking ability and dislike for public speaking if they would stop focusing on themselves and they start to begin to focus on audiences then you know it is it will be an impressive and effective speech so study the topic organize the information simply and deliver it in your own voice you were asked to give this speech to impart valuable information that your audience also wants to know from you you are not there for you you are for them and they are for you just try to understand this very simple logic second is to connect with your mob to connect with your individuals so whatever the people are sitting in front of you you need to focus on them you need to connect with them that networking that affection that emotional attachment is very important for example uh, i think you might have heard the popular hearings or uh, the proverb that avoid getting nervous while speaking in public by thinking one sentence that all the people are donkey or oh, just imagine them uh, in their underwear but you know it puts the audience in more human light though i understand the supposed intent it promotes the wrong place and uh, i will just give you one clue that uh, rather than reduce the audience they almost denigrate them as it were why not imagine them as friends the friends or the people who want your speech to go well as people genuinely interested something interested from you to the topic or on the topic you are talking about what you want to convey you know your topic very well they don't know so don't afraid of them they are for you just try to understand the individuals and more it is that easy that you can understand what about and the third one is the stories very interesting that you can you can add or you can intervene the stories in your speech intermittently because you know those thoughts and feelings that resonate most with the audience the message will have a greater impact for a longer amount of time stories are so powerful powerful because you, you can imagine ourselves there in that moment under those circumstances it is the most effective way to feel the same feelings experience the same things and learn the same lesson as the one in the story think about it what is a movie or tv show it's a story in which we can take a shared journey with the characters experience their thoughts feelings and motivations and learn from what they encounter so this the speech is also like a movie the speech is also like the tv show you just imagine like this and correlate with that and the fourth is to put intermittently appropriate use of humor means the sense of humor you need to have that sense of humor you need to make them laugh okay but i am telling here appropriate not inappropriate in eligible jokes can you know it can reduce the effectivity of your speech for the love whole things under heaven and earth do not tell a joke to start your speech simply because you have been told that it will put audience at ease sure if you are humorous and add those stories that relate to your topic do use that but don't tell a joke completely unrelated to what you are talking about as your opener throughout your talk intervene humorous or ironic thoughts use your natural sense of humor as a guide keeping in mind that nothing is distasteful ruins your credibility 
as fast as an inappropriate joke so put appropriate authentic and logical joke related to your subject and now the stand on your own place the plant it is the most important thing that when you stand settle on on your own place you can connect with your audience very well and move move a little bit but not so often okay so th th there should be the rule that you have to plant then deliver a message or convey a message uh, and move with purpose not unpurposefully some of the top professional speakers are not also so disciplined enough to do this so once you notice them pacing it becomes your focus and not the great value in their message or or you know, we can say that it can affect the entertaining the story mean to teach you something meaningful so stop in one place long enough to make the audience glad that you did <laughs> and you connect better when you are stationary than mobile so looking at individuals keep an eye contact with them and then moving to the next spot and then doing the same again so these are some of the rules second last one is it is not that effective but it can add effect that to use visual aids are just that uh, for example you can say and the last one is very important that be authentic okay be reliable be you know uh, what we can say that honest with your audience okay it is the most important thing that whatever you are telling about to your study to your insights and and the delivery with your full ability and you need to be passionate with your subject does does that mean that you cannot give a great speech about something about which you are not passionate yes it is true that if you are not energetic enthusiastic and passionate about your subject if you don't know about your subject you cannot deliver an effective speech so that honesty is important honesty is nothing but you know it is like the spirit is speaking to spirit the soul is communicating with soul so authenticity also means telling the story like it is uh, no embellishments no decorations authenticity is honesty it is reliability it is vulnerability and sharing of yourself not manipulation not appealing to ethos pathos and logos no egos and no you know other things simply to get what you want and you know authenticity so finally is that why do you want to give a speech why do you want to enter into this field this is the need of time but to come in front of the mob and to teach the people to preach the people to motivate the people to inspire the people and to make them think positively so by implementing these 
seven secrets you can do this you can you can deliver a great speech you can move audience to experience things they never have been before or only remember in something fleeting corner of their soul and wish to experience it again you can raise awareness you can spread awareness for something about which you care deeply you can inspire others to take actions that lead to self improvement for our self and you know what you can create the better world the beautiful world with your speech and and you can you can you can make changes in society this is really the need of time you have to learn this and the I will just tell you one trick, one technique for this. That uh, how to open the subject in Hindi, for example. One or in Marathi, okay. As I promised you to uh, tell you about the opening of your speech, because your opening, the start of your speech. Ki, वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है जब आपके ऑडियंस बैठे हुए हैं और आप स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं आपके पहले जो 15 20 सेकंड इतने जरूरी है आप क्या कीजिए आपके आपके जो कोई अगर ग्रेट पर्सनालिटी है कोई जो हिस्ट्री की किताबों में हम पढ़ते हैं तो ऐसे लोगों को अभिवादन आप दे सकते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल स्वामी विवेकानंद या अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी वगैरह ऐसे कुछ है उनके कोटेशंस बहुत बहुत अच्छे अच्छे हैं उनके पोएम्स है उनसे स्टार्ट करो उनका डायरेक्ट नाम मत लो आप लेकिन आप क्या कर सकते हो कि आप जो है उनके कोटेशन से आप स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं तो सबकी नजरें एक साथ आपके पास आएंगी फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे कि मैं बताऊंगा हिंदी में अगर आप कर रहे हैं ये नंदन की भूमि है ये वंदन की भूमि है ये अभिनंदन की भूमि है ये अर्पण की भूमि है ये तर्पण की भूमि है ये समर्पण की भूमि है इसके बिंदु बिंदु में गंगा जल है इसके कंकर कंकर में शंकर है हम मरेंगे भी तो इसी के लिए हम जिएंगे भी तो इसी के लिए और मरने के बाद हमारे शरीर का कण कण भी अगर पूछेगा कि क्या तो उसी से एक ही आवाज आएगी भारत माता की जय ऐसा कहने वाले अखे भारतीय तरुणाई के प्रेरणा स्रोत स्वामी विवेकानंद इनको मेरा प्रथम अभिवादन अगर आप मराठी में कर रहे हैं मराठी तुम्हारा संग तो छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज यांना अभिवादन दिल्याशिवाय कोणत्याही स्पीचची तुम्ही सुरुवातच करू नका कारण त्यांच्यामध्ये जे एनर्जी जे एंथुझियाजम आहे ते सगळीकडे स्प्रेड होईल आणि तुमच्यामध्ये ते संचार आहे आणि आपोआप तुमचं जे स्पीच आहे ते एनर्जेटिक आणि एंथुझियास्टिक होईल फॉर एक्झाम्पल तुम्ही असं ओपन करू शकता ज्या माणसाला ज्या माणसानं झोपल्या माणसाला जागा केला जागल्या माणसाला उठवलं उठल्या माणसाला लढायला लावलं लढायला लावलेल्या माणसाच्या हातात नंगी तलवार दिली ज्यांना वयाच्या अवघ्या सोळाव्या वर्षी हिंदवी स्वराज्य स्थापनेचा विडा उचलला आणि ज्यांना सह्याद्रीच्या कना कपारातून हर हर महादेवचा नारा दमदमिवला असा तुमचा मान माझा अभिमान आणि अख्ख्या महाराष्ट्राचा स्वाभिमान श्री छत्रपती शिवाजी महाराज यांना माझं प्रथम अभिवादन आप ऐसे स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं तुम यहां से स्टार्ट करो सकता है यू कैन स्टार्ट लाइक दिस कोई भी लैंग्वेज हो ओपनिंग इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट ओपनिंग आप स्टार्ट कैसे करते हैं आप शुरुआत कैसे कर सकते हैं अब अब जो है आप तुम शुरुआत कशी करता इट इट मैटर द मोस्ट सो टिल दैट टाइम जस्ट यू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल और इसके आगे आने वाली वीडियो में हम नए नए ट्रिक्स ऐसे बहुत ही टेक्निक्स में लाने वाला हूँ खास करके अब इसी के ऊपर एक नई सीरीज हम शुरू करने वाले हैं तो प्लीज इस चैनल के लिंक को शेयर कीजिए और सब्सक्राइब कीजिए थैंक यू वेरी मच